Hey guys, welcome to another gold making video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to flip and what flipping on the auction house is all about. I'll show you how to make gold by simply spending about 15 minutes per day simply looking for new deals and reposting your flips. So let's get right into this. So this is a character I started a few months ago and basically we started off with zero gold and we've worked our way up um, to a whole heap of gold. Let's just quickly check out the auction house. So this has been in a few months. We literally started from zero gold and we've only made gold on here by flipping. And we have an auction house that is worth nearly 20 million gold with some really, really good items, as you can see, that we all paid a really good price for. Now, let's clear out the mailbox. So we haven't even been posting, reposting our items much in the last, like, I think we haven't like reposted properly in like the last few weeks. So here are sales from about 20 days or so. We've done on this first page, 821,000. And now these are all items that we've flipped. We haven't farmed any of these. They're all items that we've bought for really cheap and resold them for a lot more. So let's just scroll down and have a look at some of the items. So we've got the rhinestone sunglasses for 18K. That's a nice little flip there. We've got this piece right here for 45k, 43, uh, 43k, um, 58k. <clears throat> There's two island expedition pieces, um, two of them right here. So I want to put both of them up, one for 58k and one for 55k. Then we've got the schismatic crafters man's um, monocles, and that went for 136k. Now these razor fin. Um, great belts or the razor fin gear sells extremely extremely well I've had a lot of success actually flip flipping that in the past um, another 35 38k right here for the formal formula illusion for the primal frost now all of these items were made over 50% profit more of them are like closer to 100 to 200 percent of what we actually paid for the item all right, so let's collect the first mailbox. Now this would definitely bring us up over that two million mark on this character that we're just doing for the challenge, which is very nice. Let's, um, let's open up the first uh, mailbox inventory and let's watch the gold go up, baby. Let's go. All right, so that brings us up at the two million mark right now. Let's see what we've got in all the other items. Let's clear that out too. And that will be a total of 875k just from flips in the last few weeks which is really really good uh, let's check out some of the flips before I actually show you how to do this and what you're going to need to actually flip yourself let's just have a look at a few successful flips that we've done in the past on this character all right so let's have a look at some of these flips we've done in the past so we managed to get this headpiece for 4,500 gold and we resold it for 259,000. So we made about 255k of this one flip, which is really nice as you can see the profit right here. That's a very, very nice flip. Here's the, the razor fin belt that I was talking about before. We've actually bought three of these in the past for 20k each and we've managed to resell one for 123k and one also for the 75k which is extremely nice giving us total profit of both the items 159k here is the crafters man's um, schismatic we actually only paid we bought four of these for a smart average buy price of about 5.2k and we managed to sell two one for 160 uh, 136k and also one for i believe 23k giving us 150k profit off those. Now this is a cool um, pirate hat looking thing. We've brought nine of these in the past and we've sold all nine, which is a really, really good sign. So we've brought nine in the past for a smart average buy of around 1k each. And we managed to resell them for about a smart, for an average sell of about 16k each, some going all the way up to 34k. And the total profit for all nine of these that we've flipped it's actually 140k 
which is very nice. So we could just keep going, but it's all about the same thing. Buying items extremely cheap and then selling them for a lot more. If we just sell by percent here, let's have a look at something we've paid the least on and made the most. So we paid... We only paid one silver for this. Yeah, we paid one silver each and we managed to resell out for 800 gold. Um, this recipe, we paid 10 gold each. We managed to resell them for 6.6k. Um, so there's a couple really, really good flips here. Anyways, guys, now that you know that flipping actually works, and this is all in character, we start from zero gold and actually have done a YouTube series where we've basically flipped from zero, and the main goal is to get to gold cap by doing this sort of flipping. Now, let's get into what you're going to need and the actual setup for this. So there is one add-on that you're 100% going to need and it's called Trade Skill Master. So that is this add-on right here. And this basically will track a whole heap of different things for you. You can make groups of specific items um, and you can also make operations and the operations do specific things that you tell it to actually do. So when you're doing flipping, it is all about having a really good operation to actually buy the items and to sell them for you, making you profit. Now, the auctioning operations we have set up, it's made so that you'll always make profit of any item that you buy from the groups. Basically, you won't sell it for 50% um, 50 of profit or more. So if it's not um, at a price where you're actually making 50% of what you paid for it, it will post for the 50%, and then whenever it is higher on the auction house, you'll undercut the next lot of people and that is how you basically can always make profit from every single flip. Now the groups that are in here, they have over 4,500 items that I've handpicked to actually flip. And now you can find all of this, all the groups, all the operations, and a step-by-step -step guide on how to start flipping and how to do flipping inside of my flipping guide. And that'll be the first link down below in the description box, which will teach you how to set up the actual, um, the add-ons, how to set up everything, and you can actually import my groups and my operations from TSM straight into your TSM and you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing um, and flipping the items I'm flipping. So basically, you want to make sure that you've got TSM installed. Once you install it, you need to connect your realm on the TSM website so you can actually get fed the data for the realm that you want to be flipping on. And once you've got that all set up, it's all about buying really good items. So the way we go about doing this is actually by using the groups from the flipping guide and when you come over to the auction house you can head over to browse now this is in the TSM auction house you can go to browse and what you can do here is you can actually search these groups so these are the groups from the flipping guide let's just select all of them just for an example sake and you'll be able to see there's 4539 items that is going to be scanned now you can do little groups if you just want to do one group and make the scan a lot quicker you can do that this scan does take a little while, but it goes through all the items that I recommend flipping. And so we'll go through them all and it will show a percent on the side. And now this percent is the market value. So the, the market value on your Pacific realm. So when it's 100%, it's what it should be priced for, for your realm's market. So see these ones right here that are 100%, they're posted for exactly what the market price should be. The ones lower means that they're cheaper than the actual market price. So for an example, if we look at this, it's posted for 100 gold. However, the market value for this is 1,155 gold on my realm. And so that would be a deal worth looking at. Here's a bit better example. And there's only one of these listed, this pattern right here, the death scale leggings. Now there's one listed for 10 gold on my auction house. So if we look at that, the market value is 494 gold. Um, and then you also want to be looking at the region sale average, which is 234 gold. Now, if both of these numbers are a lot higher than the price that someone is actually buying for, it could be a good deal. The only other thing you need to look at is at the region sale rate and the region sale, uh, region average daily sold. Now, the higher this is, the better. It just means the quicker that you'll sell this item. An item with um, for a sell rate of 0.001, um, it would take a while to sell that item. So you just want to keep into consideration that you're looking for items with a higher sell rate if you want them to turn over and sell quickly. 
But for an example, this would be a flip that are definitely worth, uh, definitely worth doing. You're only investing 10 gold, and then we'll be able to resell that for about 500 gold. Now, obviously, you do find items where you can make hundreds of thousands of gold from doing the flip, um, but it's the same concept. Basically, buying something for way below the market value, and then you're reselling it for either market value or higher. Very, very simple concept. Now, the main items that we're actually doing this with is going to be recipes, transmogs, battle pets, mounts, cosmetics, rare and valuable items. So these are just rare and valuable, hard to get items in the game. And then also transmogs. Um, these have got your hot transmogs, so transmogs a lot of people want. Then also it's got all the island expedition pieces. They seem to flip extremely, extremely well. All right, so just for an example, say that we've done the scam, we've brought all our items that we want to reflip. What we'll then do is simply come over to the mailbox, grab out the items that we are planning on flipping. So just like this, and we'll head back over to the auction house and we'll post it up. Now it's extremely easy to post these, and I'll show you in a second. All right, so we've got the item out of the mailbox. We paid 10 gold for this. Now let's head over to the auction house. You want to go to TSM, you want to go under auctioning. Now from here, because we've got all the groups and operations set up already, all you need to do is click run post scan. And as you can see, it's going to be posting at the normal price. We're going to be posting that for 585 gold. So from 10 gold to 585 gold. Now that is just an example. Obviously you do want to plan it and try to do it with the bigger items. The bigger the item is, the more profit you'll actually make. So let's have a look at a couple of these for an example. We paid 45k for this, and we're going to try to resell it for 432k. Um, this piece right here, we paid around 6k on the smart average buy for both of these, 6k each, reselling them for 341k. We've got this belt, we paid 10k for, trying to resell it for 32k, uh, 320k, sorry. We got this plan, we actually paid 155k for this plan, which is a decent amount. And we're trying to resell that for 271k. Um, so as you can see, you want to look for flips like this where you can actually make a decent amount of profit once you get that sale. So now, the main like once you're set up, the main aim of the game is to do as many of these shopping scans as you can. So what I like to do, well when I'm re going really full on with this, I do like a scan in the morning when I wake up and a scan at night. Anything that is worth buying, I'll buy that, post that back up on the auction house. And then after this, I post them all for 48 hours. And then once they expire, I simply get them out of the mailbox. I repost everything um, from the mailbox, undercutting all the competition when we're posting it again. And then I just keep rinse and repeating that process. So every few days, you have to do your repost and relist all your flips. And then in between there, whenever you get a chance, you can do these shopping scans and you can find more items to actually flip and keep reselling. Now, when you're doing this, you do want a lot of items. As you can see, we've got 1580 items and we keep selling them constantly and we are getting consistent sales because of how many items we have listed now if we only had say 100 items listed it would take um, you wouldn't expect to get daily sales but when you have this many items so over like 1000 items you definitely see daily sales sometimes you can see 10 20 sales per day from flipping items now guys if you want to learn a lot more about making gold from flipping you can check out my flipping guide inside of it I actually will teach you how to set up all the add-ons how to get started with flipping teach you exactly what flipping is and then I'll help you get set up with TSM by importing my groups and my operations straight into your TSM and you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing so it has all the groups the items that I've handpicked to flip and it has the operations to buy and sell them at a profitable price every single time. Now another thing, by actually getting the flipping guide, you get access to a private discord where you can ask me any questions and all the other guys in there, you can ask them any questions about flipping and we'll definitely help you out. We can also, if you're having trouble setting up, say TSM or getting started, just shoot me a message on the private discord and I'll definitely get back to you and give you a hand uh, getting started with all this. But anyways guys, that is the basics of flipping um, in retail well at the moment. Um, I highly recommend doing it. It's such an easy way to make a whole heap of gold. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot more gold making videos and also flipping videos 
for retail and maybe even some uh, Breath of the Lich King Classic or some Classic Flipping just to uh, mix things up. We might do a challenge up over on one of them ones. Anyways guys, to the next video, take care.